Hello people, it's the 15th of February, as you've seen from the last video, the boat's all sorted. It's now the next day since it's been, well, it's been down there a few days now, and I've decided to go on a bit of an adventure. Everyone who was supposed to come with me, like all the mates who I've, you know, arranged to go with, has let me down. So I am on my Todd, which is a bit daunting, but I think we'll be fine. I've got all the equipment, I've got everything I need. So I'm just heading down the river now. The weather is atrocious. <laughs> um, I can't see. I was going to go and do the sea force um, down outside Portsmouth, but I think it will depend on how rough the sea is as I'm going down there. But we'll have a look. Anyway, have a look at this. She's running beautifully. That was a very old. It's a very old ship, which I thought was a ferry. It's actually not. It's. Uh, it's actually what was known as a, sorry, it was going to be a hovercraft that set fire, I believe in the 70s, and it was dragged down here, and it's pretty much been here ever since. Sorry, I've got some boats coming up. And we've got a good shipwreck over there, look, now the tide's low, you can see it. In a minute, we'll be coming up to the old Hive Ferry, the famous ferry that's been going from um, Town Quay over to Hive Pier for over a hundred years I believe that's a big old wreck that one really but I'll do a separate video on all of these wonderful wrecks with the lakes and the rivers and everything else going good running good. There's the old bottom of the corner from the site. And I'm going to have uh, I think the tallest building in Southampton on there. We've just passed under the Itchen Bridge. And it's getting real choppy already. And we're heading right out. Stupid idea. <laughs> oh, let me just give me breath. I am soaked. I have never been in such big swells in all my life. And my adrenaline side of me was loving it and bouncing off the waves and everything else. And then I hit a wave so big that I leaped out of the water. And when I come down, I smashed all my face into the dashboard and ended up on the floor. Um, really lucky, I didn't knock myself out. I think I got a bit of a thick lip. Um, and my whole engine obviously come out the water and was screaming its tits off. And then just sat still for a few minutes and then off it bloody went. Um, I got as far as probably just past Leon Solent. And it was horrible. So, um, I was carrying on anyway, thinking don't be a pussy, you can do it. And the next, sorry, and the next thing you know, I'm sideways, like, to the point where I nearly thought I'm going to have to bail out. I'm going to end up flipping this boat. And then, oh yeah, that, that crapped me up, so I'll change, turn around and I'm heading back down to Phantom Water now. Just gone past Hamble River. And it's still rough, but Southampton Water rough, not like that's ridiculous. I've never seen anything like that before. So yeah, the sea is no joke, but 
great fun nonetheless. Let's go see what else we can see down the waters. So it's a tad calmer here. It's still pouring down the rain and it is still pretty choppy. Uh, I decided to come down the river test. Um, that is what remains of the old Southampton Royal Pier. Now I do plan on doing more detailed videos on all of these structures. I just can't get really close to them at the moment. The tide's dropped a bit. And it's just, you know, it's dodgy, you're not supposed to. I'm going to have to do it on nice summer days or evenings or something where I can really, you know, keep an eye on the depth and everything. I'm coming right past uh, Dockhead now in Town Quay. And where all the massive ocean liners go. It's called Mayflower Park, which is there. Um, so that's obviously your town of Southampton best bits if you like. But, um, we're just cruising along at like six knots now and we're in 32 foot of water. I'm just going to try and get us quite close to these ships. Something to look at um, and then I think I'm going to turn around and sort of start heading back down because well I've had a full tank of fuel um, and it's under half now but just an interesting little thing. Over there where those cars are, right on the corner, the other week, I don't know how they managed to do it, but a really nice black Mercedes managed to crash right through that barrier and into the water and had to get rescued. As far as I know, the car is still in the water. Um, there was photos of it I seen on Facebook the other day. It might not be, but I might pop down there later with the tide out and have a look. But yeah, it sort of landed. I think it's too big for it. In, but there sort of thing, just went straight off that edge the water, I don't know how. Luckily everybody was okay. That's the Aurora. We'll go up to the Queen Mary. Queen Mary 2, get close to her, turn around and head back. Swap ya! <laughs> and this is, uh, we'll head up to the Queen Mary too. We'll just come up now. This is probably, if you ask me, the only real ocean liner left. spin round and head back. What an amazing ship. Royal man would have loved all this. 50 metres away it says. Well, I'm about 50 metres I reckon. Ish. So I'm walking on the deck up there. There's loads of people walking on the deck up there as well. Look. Fishies, 58 foot depth.
because I've got to pay attention here. Beat up, sore, but I've had a great laugh doing it, so that's what it's all about, isn't it? 